Hi everyone, this is Mike with mhstudio.com and today we're going to take a quick uh, little walkthrough on the Verizon Wireless HTC Touch Pro 2. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. This is all going to be in actual time. So you're going to see uh, what happens when the phone starts up, how long it takes. You get to see all of that. So there's the Touch Pro 2 logo, as you can see. There's the uh, Verizon Wireless logo that they have there across the screen. And this is going to be running Windows Mobile 6.1. Not completely sure if this will be upgradable to Windows Mobile 6.5 yet. So now it's going to be loading the uh, true flow. Okay. So here's the home screen. I'm sure you've seen uh, what true flow is. But uh, I just wanted to show you this is going to be the time you've got your call history and your calendar. Now, when you, uh, when you take your stylus and you go up on the screen, or even if you use your finger, you'll see that the time pops up there. It's a lot smaller, so you can show more information. I'll go ahead and bring that back. Uh, all right. The next little tab that we have here, when you uh, scroll on over, is your favorites. You you can add uh, people's contacts on here. One touch dialing is pretty much what that is. Okay. Next tab is going to be messaging. So this is what messaging is is pretty much going to look like when you click on the message. You'll see that the thread kind of, um, there's a lot of test uh, messages here, as you can see. But um, just to show you how quickly this works, okay, let me see here. We're going to send a text message to this phone. Now we should be getting a message rather shortly. Up oh, there we go. You see it kind of updated. I know it's kind of hard to see. In fact, I'll see if we can do that again for you. Let's see. Just bear with me. This is in real time. So it doesn't take too long. Now we're just going to send test to that phone. You're going to see just how quick it pops up. It's running through the Verizon Wireless network. So the network's going to process the request. And there you go. Pretty quick. Now if I wanted to send a message, Alright, so there's your contacts list there. List all of your contacts for that person test. Okay. This lists your actual email in the form of an SMS or chat. This allows you to see if they've got a Twitter or a Facebook account. The next tab is updates for uh, different profiles. And then this is just kind of a history, a chatter history, if you will. So we're going to hit back. And we're going to go on to the next application, which is email. We don't have any emails on there. Alright. So then uh, we'll move on to the next application, which is the camera. Now you'll see that I've got uh, a picture, I guess, of my truck that I took. Just kind of wanted to take a look at it. You've got the weather. Alright. So you'll see you can scroll through these. You can... Uh, click on them or tap them and you can pretty much move them or, and whatnot. Good good way to view your photos. 
Alright, the next tab is a calendar tab. Now, I like the fact that the calendar is big. Uh, I think that's a pretty good thing. Now, with the menu, you can, you can obviously go to the today. You can make a new. You can change it to the day. And that displays the weather. Or a month view. So, day or month, it doesn't matter. Now, web browsing is the next tab. You see they've got the little uh, browser icon here to launch the browser. Now, we're going to go into the bookmarks. I want to show you again, real time. We're going to go to my uh, website, mhairstudio.com. Watch how long it takes this to load. Okay, right now it's actually loading. And this will just show you how long it takes for it to load a uh, web page. As you can see, there's the web page itself. Now I can I can scroll with a flick of a stylus, okay, or navigate. And what they've even included, let's see if we can get that in here, is a little scroll bar on the bottom here. So if I take my finger, in fact, we'll do the stylus. If you take your stylus and scroll, let's see here and scroll it can actually scroll and then you can just scroll back out now this is running on the opera browser but you can download d different browsers out there let's go ahead and exit that back next application is going to be your weather application this is a live weather application so you'll see it update in a minute we're going to run through a couple uh, preset weather here as you can see it loads everything pretty uh, pretty pretty good pretty quick in real time this, uh, this is New York that's uh, London see it's kind of mostly cloudy North Carolina Fort Lauderdale and Gothenburg if there's rain there'll be rain on the screen so it's a pretty neat application we're gonna move on next to the stock application you'll see that update there you go kinda like the iPhone almost what it'll allow is you can click on a uh, stock. Let's say you want to view it. And now what it's done is it's loaded the chart and inf key information so I can go on to the year if I wanted to. And now you can kind of see the uh, stock chart there. Alright. So we'll go ahead and back out of that. They've got music. So if I wanted to hear that artist, I can go ahead and play. Now, actually, this is on vibrate, isn't it? Yeah. Bear with me. There we go. So you can play the weather, or the music, I'm sorry. You can pause it. You can move on to the next music title. You can play that. So there you go. Speakers are in the back, it's actually pretty good. And then you have your settings. This is sync data, wallpaper, communications, all that good stuff. And when you click on the communications tab, it brings you to airplane mode, phone, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, all that stuff. Um, HTC has taken uh, a lot of time and effort into making this version of TrueFlow a little more user friendly so you're not using the uh, Windows. OS itself a whole lot. So like if I went to the start menu, this is actually what we would get. A list of favorites, you can add different applications. Or if you don't see an application, you actually go to the all applications list and it'll list them all. If you remember earlier I was telling you about the calendar view. Here, this calendar icon will actually bring you to the Windows standard Windows Mobile standard calendar. So, as you can see, we're going to go to month on here, I believe. Let's see here. View, month. As you can see, that's not that great of a calendar. The other calendar was a lot better. Alright, so that's a year view. But I just wanted to show you that when you hit the back button, it brings you back to the home screen. They've got a little application up here. That's a Windows Mobile thing where you can see the amount of RAM you're using you can go into your application setting list 
Right now we want to end this application, so we're going to hit end. But that's just kind of a, uh, a quick walkthrough of the device itself. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always visit my website, mhayhurstjr.com. That's M-H-A-Y-H-U-R-S-T, Jr.J-R.com. All right? Thank you very much, and uh, have a good day.